Hi everybody, so today our lesson is a video recording. So follow along with me just like you typically would in our Zoom class, okay? We're gonna sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider because you guys did so good last week, okay? Do the hand motions, motions with me, all right? The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Okay, thank you for doing it with me. Okay, and I'm going to greet everyone this morning with a wave. Hello. And we're going to do three balloon breaths, okay? So our balloon breath friend is over here, red balloon. And we're going to start by putting our hands on our head. Taking a deep breath in and putting our arms up. Breathe out with a silly noise in your mouth. Okay, we have to do three balloon breaths. So we did one, now we need two more. Okay, ready? Last one. Our commitment today is, I will remember that I am awesome. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. Make sure you're listening, and then you say it again, okay? I will remember that I am awesome. Okay, I want you guys to know that you are all awesome and you're doing such a great job, and I'm really excited and proud of you. Um, we're gonna review our sign language a little bit, okay? We have a guest. Hi. Oh, here she is. It's perfect that she's here because we're gonna learn a little bit about veterinarians, which not her favorite, but we'll learn about that later. Let's review our sign language first. So our first sign language word we learned was thank you. You try, thank you. Okay, our second sign language word we tried, we learned was you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. And the last sign language word we learned last week was sit. Sit. Okay, nice work. Um, let's count to 10 on our fingers. So get your hands ready and count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and yay. Okay, we're gonna quickly go over our calendar before we read our story about vets. All right, so this is the month of September, so here I've written it. And typically when you have a calendar, the month is up here. So that's where it should be, but it's not up there yet. Okay, and on our calendar, we have all of the numbers of every single day of the month. Oof, here we go. Okay, so today is Monday. All the way to the bottom, that is our last number, 28th. So it's September, Monday, September 28th. Okay. Let's put our calendar back. And now we get to read about jobs because we talked about jobs all last week. And a very important job, I think, is a veterinarian. And I saw that some of you wanted to be a vet when you grow, grow up, so that I thought this would be the perfect book. All right, so this book's called Veterinarian's Help. So here we, this is our cover, this is our title, and here we have a picture of a man laughing with a dog. I think he is the vet, because he has a stethoscope. Okay, let's read. Veterinarian's Help. What is a veterinarian? Veterinarians, or vets, are doctors who care for animals. Vets help sick animals. They also help healthy animals stay that way. Okay, here we have a vet helping a puppy and a little girl watching. Different kinds of veterinarians care for different animals. Nearly half of vets treat cats, dogs, and other pets. They work at animal hospitals. OK, 
Okay, here's another person. He looks like the vet. He has a stethoscope. And a girl watching him care for her guinea pig. A guinea pig is not a pig. It's actually like, kind of like a mouse without a tail. <laughs> Other vets treat farm animals or horses. Farm animal vets visit the animals on the farm. And here we see a vet taking care of a goat. And the vets go to the farm because the farm animals are too big to get into the car and go to the vet's office. Oh, zoo vets work at zoos. They help treat wild animals kept at the zoo. All right, you guys need to help me out with what animal do you think he's helping? Looks like he's taking care of the toes of a giant elephant. What do vets do? Veterinarians try to make sick animals better. They set broken bones, they give medicine, and sometimes they operate on sick animals. Operate means they need to go into surgery. Okay, here we have a puppy and a man taking care of him. Veterinarians also give checkups to healthy animals. They give animals vaccinations to keep them healthy. A vaccination is a shot and people get vaccinations too. So we're all safe and healthy. Here's the dog, here's the vet. Clothes and tools. Veterinarians at hospitals wear lab coats and scrubs. Veterinarians at zoos wear, and farms wear coveralls to keep their clothes clean. So here we'll see coveralls. Coveralls are right here and here, and we can see they're working on a horse's foot. We will learn more about horses and farms later this year. Veterinarians use the same kinds of tools as doctors. They use stethoscopes to hear heartbeats, and they use x-rays to see inside sick or hurt animals. Okay, so here we see an x-ray of that lizard or iguana. And we see our vet wearing gloves. All right, veterinarians help. Vets help wild animals, farm animals, and pets. They even help people by showing them how to care for their animals. Okay, so here we see a vet taking care of a snake. And vets are really great because if you've never had a pet before, you don't know how to take care of it. So it's a good job to ask for a vet. And that's the end of our book. So the end. And here is our back cover and our front cover. Okay, so I hope you liked that story. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to do the canvas activity.